Functional Skills Area. In this video, we're going to go through two examples of questions that use area in a functional context. So we'll start with this question. Gladys is making a patchwork quilt. She wants it to measure 1.5 meters by 2.5 meters and be made up of square patches measuring 0.25 meters in length. How many patches does she need? There are different ways that we could answer this question correctly. So I'm going to show you two different methods to answer. So one way we could look at this is to see how many patches will fit along the length and width of the quilt. To do this, we need to see how many times 0.25 goes into 2.5. So we can work that out by doing 2.5 divided by 0.25. And that tells me that 10 patches will fit along the length of the quilt. If we do the same thing for the width of the quilt, we want to know how many 0.25s fit into 1.5. So I can do 1.5 divided by 0.25, and that tells me that six patches will fit along the width of the quilt. So that means to make the quilt, I will need 10 lots of six patches, which is 10 times six. So the answer is 60 patches. So now let's look at another method to answer this same question. This time we're going to use the area. So first, to work out how many patches fit into the quilt, I need to work out the area of the patch and the area of the quilt. So to find the area of the patch, I need to do 0.25 times 0.25, which is 0.0625 meters squared. And then for the area of the quilt, I have 2.5 times 1.5, so the area of the quilt is 3.75 meters squared. Now, to work out how many patches fit into the quilt, I can do 3.75 divided by 0.0625, and that gives me an answer of 60. So again, she will need 60 patches. In this next example, we are told that Simon is painting a large wall. The paint he uses comes in 2.5 litre tins and one litre covers 3.4 metres squared. How many tins will he need? So we'll start here by working out the area of the wall that Simon needs to paint. And so what we want is the area of this part here. So the wall minus the door, because we don't want to paint the door, he only wants to paint the wall. So to work out the area of the wall, I need to work out 5.2 times 4.1, which is 21.32. And then I need to subtract the area of the door. So I want to take away 0 0.8 times 2. Now, when I work out 21.32 minus 1.6, I get 19.72. So this is the area of the wall that he needs to paint. Now we need to work out how many tins of paint he needs. So we're told that the paint comes in 2.5 litre tins and that one litre covers 3.4 metres squared. So if one litre covers 3.4 metres squared and we have 2.5 litres, then we need to find 2.5 times 3.4. So 2.5 times 3.4 is 8.5. This tells me that one tin will cover 8.5 meters squared of wall. So now we know that the area to cover is 19.72 meters squared. We know that each tin covers 8.5 meters squared. So now the final thing to do is work out how many tins we need. So we'll do 19.72 divided by 8.5. So that gives me an answer of 2.32. Now here's the bit where we have to relate it back to real life. In real life, if you needed 2.32 tins of paint, you'd have to buy three, because you can only buy a whole number of tins. So the final answer is that he needs three tins. Now finally, here is another question that could be asked with this same example. Now, all the information in the question is the same, 
But instead of asking how many tins, we're given this extra line of information. So we're told that each tin costs £2.40 and we want to know how much Simon will spend. So we would do exactly the same thing as before. So start by working out the area of the wall that needs to be painted, which is the area of the wall minus the area of the door. So that was 19.72 metres squared. And then working out how much area is covered by each tin, doing 2.5 times 3.4 which is 8.5 metres squared, and then how many tins will we need by working out 19.72 divided by 8.5, which gives 2.32, and then we rounded that up to three tins. So the final step is to work out the cost of three tins. And we do this using the fact that for one tin, he would pay £2.40. So for three tins, he will need to pay three times £2.40 which is £7.20. So Simon will spend £7.20 painting this wall.